Welcome back guys to another Tesla video. We got some big topics, especially how we do have some institutions out there buying more and more Tesla shares. That's a good thing because when institutions buy in, it makes the stock feel super bullish. We also do have some billionaires out there saying how Tesla is super good and why you shouldn't be selling a single share. And towards the end of the video, we will be making a massive update on the Berlin Gigafactory because some of you guys were talking about this and it's going pretty well. We should be seeing the factory being fully operational around quarter two, quarter three of this year, which we will be seeing some increased sales once the production starts going up, especially how, for example, the Shanghai Gigafactory is already fully operational now. Tesla will most likely report some very, very good delivery reports for this quarter. First thing is you do have institutions buy more Tesla shares. And one of the biggest investments of Tesla comes from Alaska's Department of Revenue. Now these guys collect and also invest public funds. And one really crazy thing is they're using public funds to be buying a lot of Tesla stock. Now since Tesla is now part of the S&P 500 and the share price is a lot more stable, I think it's a pretty good decision. So the Alaska Department of Revenue, they manage roughly $8.8 .8 billion worth of US assets as of December 31st. And they actually increased its Tesla holdings and also sold off other shares like Quadcom and also Intel. And now Alaska's Department of Revenue owns 124,000 Tesla shares in Q4 2020. This is awesome because what they're pretty much banking on is upcoming autopilot software and also upcoming production. All of these would definitely increase Tesla price. Right now, Tesla is pretty expensive at $700, $800 a share. And with Alaska Department of Revenue being so bullish on it, I feel like it could be a pretty good decision to probably increase some shares, especially how these guys have been gobbling shares for a very, very long time. And I think they bought even more because Tesla recently did join the S&P 500 index, and that makes it a lot more safer, especially now if you buy SPY stock for retirement or just for regular growth, you're gonna be having to buy Tesla stock as well, because now it's part of the S&P 500. And you also have a billionaire saying, don't sell a single share of Tesla. This is a billionaire from Chamath Papatia, who spoke opening about Elon Musk and also the overall stock price. What he's banking on is this is a very good company and how they are harnessing energy and trying to figure out how to store it. So the reason why this billionaire is so bullish on Tesla and why he thinks Tesla will 3X and also why you shouldn't be selling a single share is because this is on sustainability, especially how you do have a lot of global warming, climate change going at this current moment. A lot of these massive electric stocks, sustainable energy stocks will be the ones grown the most in the next few years. So if you sell right now, it's gonna be a really big mistake because in the next few years, the stock will be even more. Because right now, Tesla, they're not just doing cars. They're doing way more than cars. They're doing like energy storage. They recently increased the price of the Tesla Powerwall because it was so high in demand. They're doing Tesla solar roofs, which they actually lowered the price tag and made it more available. They're also doing charging in pretty much every single highway in the United States and try to do it around the world. And they're trying to make these battery farms for other countries like the Southern Australian battery farm since they always have constant outrages. And now after this battery farm made by Tesla, they actually save millions of dollars every single month. It's pretty awesome. And so far, I feel like the person that's gonna be making the most money in the future will probably be people in the sustainability industry. People who make like EVs, electric, people make storage and batteries, etc. Those would be the people that make the most money and I feel like, hey, Tesla, they're doing pretty well. They come out with a lot more energy products. And I feel like in the next five years, it wouldn't really just be a car manufacturing plant anymore since they are focusing the majority of their attention this year on battery production and research rather than vehicles. I think they have enough vehicles. They have like the Model Y, Model S, Model X. I think the most that will come out like in the next couple of years is most likely the hatchback Tesla, the $25,000 Tesla vehicle. But for now, I think Tesla is mostly focusing their attention on battery storage and also battery cell production lines nickel extraction from indonesia for example they're trying to set out a bunch of battery gigafactories and once it's fully operational in the next three years tesla will be the biggest battery producer in the world especially for lithium ion battery cells for evs and if you check out all the other car companies like ford motors they have no plans in making a battery factory even though the ceo acknowledges how important a battery cell factory is so you kind of get what's going on here and last but not least, let's talk about how Tesla has some major improvements 
in the Gigafactory Berlin because right now Tesla made a cash deposit of 120 million USD to the state office for the environment on Friday around January 15, 2021. And this is pretty big because this is like the next big advancement. And if you check out this Twitter post by GF4 Tesla, you clearly see that there's already major steel beams. There's already like lighting installed. You also have like the windows and the floor is pretty flat right now. In just about six months, you should be seeing the first German Model Y being produced. So it's pretty awesome. And the hiring process is still going on in the Berlin Gig Factory. So they're actually making some pretty big improvements. Now, obviously, though, we this is a pretty big sneak peek about what's going on inside, but I feel like the majority of the construction is done. What they need to do is start renovating the insides, and everything is good. I think they're on time. There's not really any sort of a super big delay, but it, probably in around the summertime, we should be seeing the completion of the Berlin Gigafactory, and I'm actually surprised about how fast they actually finish the exterior design and the shell and the steel beams. I was expecting that to happen around like February or even early March, but they might be actually completely finishing up the factory around late spring and production and first deliveries in the summer of this year, 2021. And that is pretty exciting. So let's just see what happens. I really do feel like Tesla will definitely be making a ton of money from all these different factories. And by the way, the Berlin Giga factory will be producing half a million cars as soon as possible in the first few years. And they want to aim to produce more. And the Shanghai Giga factory will also be providing Europe with the first batches of the Model 3s and the Model Ys because obviously this factory will not be fully operational until like the summer of 2021. That's about it guys. Thanks for watching. We got several big major Tesla news coming up especially how we should be having some sort of a massive autopilot update because they have been updating this software every five to 10 days. So we should be seeing something pretty big coming soon. I wanna be seeing what people are thinking about the full self-driving beta and how it could drive in inner metropolitan cities. We also should be seeing more news about the battery research program for the 4680 battery cells. Tesla is at this current moment focusing mainly on battery than anything else. And they also have been pouring millions and millions of dollars with Panasonic to make a prototype 4680 battery production line. So it's looking pretty good. I mean, I don't really think people are selling any Tesla stock. People who are shorting Tesla stock are losing a bunch of money. They are at an all-time low right now. You have several major bears throwing the towel and becoming bull. You have a lot of major analysts and institutions buying Tesla stock when before they started shorting it. So it's a pretty interesting thing to see. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely click subscribe. We do have daily Tesla videos. And recently, we're trying to push out other major car manufacturing videos as well. Probably not just Tesla. There's a few requests on Neo X-Pen and also like Lucid, whatever it is. So it's looking pretty good. We got a lot of EV competition coming up in the next several months. So we definitely will be staying tuned. It's not just going to be Tesla from now on. We could be seeing other major brands coming to this industry, which frankly makes it super exciting.